my name is Lynn and I am Camden Martin's mom. He is two years old and we are from Brazelton, Georgia. Camden is very inquisitive, very charming, and I would say uh, very smart. Yeah, he's, yeah, smart. When Camden was born, he had something called transient myelopoiesis. It's a type of cancer and they had to give him radiation therapy for that while he was in the NICU. And they told us that he would get cancer again before the age of five. Sure enough, age two, on his second birthday, they said, guess what you're doing? No birthday parties, you're coming in and starting treatment. That's how they found it. They just kept a careful eye on him because they knew something was gonna happen. They just didn't know when. Camden, because of his NICU experience, has about 10 doctors he has to see on a monthly basis. And I would say, in all honesty, the Aflac doctors are phenomenal because they don't look at him as a patient. They look at him as one of their kids. The doctors and nurses seriously take time to know your child. They know what he likes, what he doesn't like, his personality, and they just get to know everything about you and everything about the child. Here through the worst of times when your kid is can't get out of bed, he's not eating, He's got sores through the best of times when he's ringing that bell and going home. It's his family. They're a part of his life. So yeah, they they are definitely a superhero in our book. Hello, Did your pretty Krishna. lady. Want to pick? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Doctors have the power to heal, and whether it's physically to get rid of the cancer, emotionally to help the kid, you know, lift up their spirits. They're there, and they heal body, mind, and soul. They really do. Cancer, it, it's tough. It takes a toll on your family. But uh, we made it, didn't we? Because you're strong. Yes. Camden is doing great. We finished up our last round, and we're just waiting for our counts to come up so he can go home and start a normal life. We are free, cancer free. I think what surprised us is how resilient the kids are. These kids, as they're getting their treatments, they're still running up and down the halls and playing. Even when they feel bad, at their worst of time, they want to be in school. They want to be with friends and play. And that's, that's phenomenal. And the doctors do everything they can to make sure that's possible. And that's the main thing that will surprise, I think, people, is the kids and how the doctors help them.